car is just about packed up. Tomorrow we just need to wake up. We head to Lake Tahoe. The earlier the better. It's really important to get a good spot with ice fishing. What's a good spot, Dad? It's all the same lake. No, it's all about porta potties, Christine. Within walking distance and beyond smelling distance. <laughs> Jimmy, I got a call went portable. We never have to leave the hut. Leave me down. You use that, I'm leaving the hut. <laughs> hey, did you guys see a set of keys? No, I don't think so. Shoot, I could have sworn I left them right here. They're my friend Susan's. I told her I'd watch her house while her family was out of town. Hey, wait a second. This must be hers, right? Look at that. It's got an attack whistle and a little can of mace. Actually, Dad, those are Greg's. <laughs> what? When I work late, it's a long, dark walk to the car. I think it's crazy for you to carry all this stuff on a chain. I mean, a pretty thing like you can just grow her nails long enough to scratch their eyes out. <laughs> found him, never mind. Couldn't have found those five seconds ago, could you? <laughs> Girls, I cannot tell you how much I thank you for signing us up for that tournament. I mean, Jimmy and I, we've been ice fishing before, but this is the first time in my whole life that I've ever gone to a tournament father and son. Well, we thought it would be nice for you to finally participate in a real father-son event. Uh, you know how much I love you. But there's some things that dad with daughters just can't do. Oh, like what? Drink beer and go to the track? No. Uh -huh. Christine and I have gotten drunk plenty of times. <laughs> a couple times at the track. <laughs> well, I think it's good that you can share this fishing trip with Jimmy. Yeah, that's right. Jimmy, with you, I could do all of these things. You are the son that I never had. And you have Greg. Come on, Don, if you have something to say to me, you don't have to snort and grunt. Now that you're walking upright, I, I think you're ready for words. At least a cave painting. <laughs> Greg, normally I would uh, attack you for saying something like that, but you have your whistle. <laughs> you got a wife to keep in love with you. and then we can head to the mall. Oh, my gosh. Look at this place. Man, I got a massage chair, plasma TV, one of those cool CD players. She, these people are living in the Sharper Image catalog. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> they have a jacuzzi in their living room? Hey, did you see this talking picture frame? I was thinking about getting Mom one of these for Christmas. I love you, Mommy. Oh, that's so cute. Mom would love that. Let me see it. That's weird. Battery must have died. Nothing's happening. Let me try. That's weird. Battery must have died. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Great. I'm sure Susan won't notice her child is saying something different and now has a voice that's been ravaged by years and years of alcohol and tobacco abuse. <laughs> It was an accident. Well, Christine, this woman is the president of the PTA. I don't need her telling everybody I screwed up her house. Sorry. I have an idea. Just be quiet for a second. I love you, Mommy. Oh, that's good. I love you, Mommy. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna go stand outside, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for agreeing to let my dad use our bed tonight. Oh, hey. At least I can do is let him sleep on my bed since he does let me sleep on you. <laughs> what are you watching? Oh, Discovery Channel. Check out these praying mantises. They do it hanging upside down. And then when they're done, a female bites the guy's head off. <laughs> Fascinating. You want to try it? Absolutely. <laughs> back feeling any better? No, it's worse. I think we've discovered why you never heard this phrase in the English language, and they were going at it like praying mantises. <laughs> ah. What's wrong with you? I did something to my back. It's totally messed up. 
God, what happened? Oh, uh, well, Jimmy and I were fooling around last night when he tried to flip me on. No, 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 we get it. <laughs> so much for ice fishing. I feel like I broke my back. I'm gonna have to spend the whole weekend lying on this couch. Well, you may have broken your back, but at least you haven't broken your routine. <laughs> Man, Dad is gonna be crushed. I mean, he can't go to a father and son fishing tournament by himself. <laughs> Don't even think about it. No. Please, Greg. Kim, have you noticed how well we get along? The man hates me. Oh, he doesn't hate you. Remember that family photo we sent him for Father's Day? He cut me out of it. Well, that's just because he wanted to fit it in that antique frame. I was in the middle. He had to cut it twice and tape it together. The, the floor lamp beside you made it in the picture, but I didn't. <laughs> this trip means so much to him. Now, the man had two daughters. And he was always stuck doing girly things with us, like playing dolls. But his heart was never in it. Yeah, one of our tea parties, he dozed off with a cigarette in his hand and melted one of my Barbie's boobs. <laughs> Barbie went right on with her life, but Ken... Ken stopped coming around. <laughs> Greg, you always said you wanted to have a better relationship with my father. I do, and I've tried. I've tried everything I know how to do, and nothing never works. Well, try fishing. It's perfect. I mean, he definitely loves fishing more than he hates you. I don't even know how to fish. My uncle took me once. I cast my line out, hooked an owl, and flung him 30 feet into the lake. <laughs> Owls don't know how to swim, by the way. But you can hear their panic hooting two feet underwater. Craig, the fact that you don't know how to fish makes it even better. He can teach you, like he would his own son. I don't know. Look, Greg, Don and I didn't exactly start out as best friends either. Yeah, well, the first time you guys met, you were naked. <laughs> Hiding under his daughter. Yes, but then that summer, he wanted to build a deck, and I like building things, so I, I helped him out, and we did it together, just the two of us, and in a couple of weeks, we were friends. Well, I'd like to be the man's friend, believe me. It would make things easier. I guess it would just be the two of us up there all weekend. At some point, uh, we'd have to bond a little. Give it a try. Go, so, Jimmy. We got fish to catch. Bad news, Don. I hurt my back. I can't go fishing. What? Uh, it's okay, Dad. Greg's gonna go with you instead. What? Don, I know things haven't always been perfect between us. But uh, I think maybe Jimmy getting hurt gives us a chance to, you know, get to know each other a little better. And I know I, for one, uh, am looking forward to it. <laughs> Jimmy, come on, I'll carry you. No, Dad, Dad, he can't go. What are you telling me? Either I go with Greg or the trip is off? Yeah. That's right. I... I got to decide now, huh? Dad! Okay, fine, fine. I'll go with Gregory. Come on, let's go. All right, Don, let's go throw the gear in the car and head out for the great American outdoors. <laughs> let's hope the fish are biting and the mosquitoes aren't. <laughs> <laughs> How old is Dominic? Wow, isn't it beautiful up here in the winter? I mean, it's spectacular. Look how the sun glistens off the ice. It's, it's so pristine. Hey, Emily Dickinson, you're still in the cooler. <laughs> Next to bait, beer is the second most important thing on a fishing trip. Yeah, I like the way you think, buddy. Let's lighten that load a little bit. <laughs> what are you doing? Just throwing you a frosty beer, buddy. It's 10.30 in the morning. You think I'm an alcoholic? <laughs> Name? Don Lucky. And son. Son-in-law. In-law. Whatever. You got your 30 bucks? I got it, Don. Don't worry about it. I got the entry fee. The benefit that I get from you paying is offset by my terror that you will soon be nude. Okay, we're in. Okay, now let's try and uh, stay away from the windows and... Oh, you know, don't touch any picture frames. <laughs> okay, so we got a couple hours before Kim and the kids are back from the park. Here's the massage chair. You know, Jimmy, I think... Uh, Sit in this thing for a good hour. Your back's gonna feel a whole lot better. Jimmy! Sorry. 
I looked so good I couldn't resist. <laughs> All right. Man, isn't this great? You know, it's not every day that we get the full run of someone else's house. Oh, no, wait. That is every day, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's get our lines in the water. If you feel like catching a fish, Greg, I suggest you put on number uh, eight Aberdeen with a single wax worm. Don, I don't know what a number eight Aberdeen is. In the tackle box, top shelf. Which one's a tackle box? <laughs> Next to the bait box. A bait box. A bait box, not quite sure. Not quite sure. <laughs> give, me, give me, I'll do it. You know, uh, it's quite a treat for me, you taking me fishing and all. My dad never did that. That's why I don't know any of this stuff. Yeah, well, maybe better late than never. Okay. All, right, all you gotta do is clamp on one of those sinkers about a foot away from the hook. You think you can do that? Sure. <sighs> That's 50 cents you owe me. Sorry. I get him out of here. That's a dollar. You know what, uh, Greg? Uh, I don't think the uh, fish are scared enough. Uh, perhaps you have a cherry bomb you could toss down there? crabs. You find an empty shell, you crawl right in and make yourselves at home. Kim, I'm in agony here. Your back hurts that bad, It's huh? excruciating. This is the only thing that helps. I'm sorry. Maybe I overreacted. When I first walked in, I just assumed you were taking advantage. Hey, just so you know, uh, the steam room's out of eucalyptus. <laughs> hey, Kim. Listen, if you're gonna get in the hot tub with us, we got one rule. What happens at the Weinstein's house stays at the Weinstein's house. So, Don, I bet you've got a lot of great stories about fishing. Yep, yep, yep. Feel like sharing any of them? You know what a seven-inch auger is, Greg? No. Then no. So it's a nice fishing pole. Oh, yeah. It's homemade. You made it? No. My grandfather. He made it when he was a kid from a tree near the fishing creek. He carved the whole thing out and then he welded it on the pole. Beautiful. No kidding. I bet he was quite a fisherman. He was the greatest. He had trophies running up and down the wall. Ever since I was five years old, I couldn't wait till he came and visit us every winter. He would take me out to the ice pond. He told me. Sounds nice. One day, I think I, yeah, it was my birthday. I just turned 16. So he took me out fishing. And we were packing up. And suddenly he turns to me and he, he says, Donnie, I want you to have this. No, he gave it to you. I said, Gramps, I can't take this. this is, it's too. He kept insisting, so I, I, I took it. Two weeks later, he died in his sleep. Wow. I think he knew. That was his way of making sure I, I, uh, I remembered him. Hold, hold us a second, okay? I just want to fix the lamp.
Jimmy, what are you doing out of bed? I couldn't get comfortable. My back is still killing me. Well, why don't you try lying on the floor? Right. <sighs> oh. Turn your head all the way to the right. This isn't any better. Yeah, I know, but can you see if that earring I lost is under the couch? <laughs> My back is killing me, Christine. I need that hot tub. It's the only thing that works. And I'm going over there with or without you. Ow. Well, I guess I did promise in sickness and in health. Come on, boys, we'll break it into the neighbor's house. <laughs> Isn't that wrong? Was it wrong when you spilt your juice the other day and didn't tell anyone about it? Yes. Okay, so stop judging mommy and daddy. Grab your sweater. Let's go. <laughs> I know how this looks, but believe it or not, this started out as me cleaning this thing. Still think we should get you to a doctor. Let me see if you're warming up here. Touch me one more time, and you're going to a doctor. <laughs> it was an accident, Don. I didn't mean to knock you in the hole. You ruined the whole trip. Because of you. We only caught one stupid fish. And that was only because when I was trapped underneath there, it swam into my pants. Well, I don't know what to say. You've got to be the worst fisherman I ever met. It's unbelievable. You, you don't know how to function in a man's world. I knew this trip was going to be a disaster. I only came because I didn't want to disappoint Kim and Christine. Well, you think I wanted to come on this trip? Kim had to beg me. And I only went along with it because I was being nice. I thought it might even help our relationship. But no matter how hard I tried, do you know what I get in return? Nothing. I never asked you for any favors. You've always treated me like crap, and that's never going to change. And you want to know why? Because you're a jerk, Don. That's right, a jerk. And I'm tired of pretending that you're not. I spent all this time worrying whether you like me or not, when it doesn't matter whether you like me or not, because I don't like you. You don't like me? How can you say that? <laughs> How can I say that? Don, you make it perfectly clear you don't like me. So? I don't like dogs. They still like me. Well, I'm not a dog. Jeez, I, I don't know what to say. I know I, I got a, a gruff exterior sometimes, and uh, sometimes a little rough on you, but I still think uh, you respected me and looked up to me. Now you're saying you don't even like me. Are you crying? No. Yes, yeah, you are. I'm just reacting to the cold. <laughs> Can't believe it. You're crying. Stop looking at me. I didn't know that it meant that much to you that I didn't like you. You do care about me. Of course I care about you. You're married to my daughter. You're family, all right? You're like... You're like my son. That's nice. Hey, Greg. I, I ain't that easy to get along with. No, neither am I. You know what would feel good right now? What? A hug. Come on. <sighs> Don. What? what? What's going on down there? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Boy, what are you doing? Oh, Jimmy showed me where to hide the key. Thought I'd get my soak on. Boy, the Weinsteins are coming back tonight. I just came by to make sure everything was straightened up. You have to get out of there. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Uh oh. What? My toe's stuck in the jet. Get it out. No, oh, I can't. Oh, I'm cramping. My leg is cramping. Oh, oh God. No! Oh. Ah! All right, all right, hold on. Let me see if I can get it loose. That's it. Keep doing it just like that. Kim, the 
relax. What happens at the Weinstein's house stays at the Weinstein's house. <laughs> Thank you.